Well, good morning, Dr. Curie. Good morning, David. At the end of the 19th century, French physicist Pierre Curie accidentally discovered in an experiment that when a magnet is heated to a certain temperature, its magnetism completely disappears. Since then, the temperature value at which a magnet completely loses its magnetism has been referred to as the Curie temperature, or Curie point. A magnetic domain is a region within a magnetic material in which the magnetization is in a uniform direction. This means that the individual magnetic moments of the atoms are aligned with one another and they point in the same direction. Whether a magnet has magnetism depends on the arrangement of magnetic domains. Before being magnetized, the arrangement of magnetic domains in a neodymium magnet is disordered. Although each individual magnetic domain region is magnetic, the different magnetic field directions cause their magnetic forces to cancel each other out. Therefore, from a holistic perspective, they are not magnetic. When a neodymium magnet is magnetized, the external strong magnetic field causes the originally disordered magnetic domain directions to become uniform, thereby becoming a magnet with magnetic properties. When the temperature rises, the thermal motion of atoms and electrons inside the magnet becomes more intense, and the direction of some magnetic domains also shifts. When the temperature reaches the Curie temperature, the originally aligned magnetic domains will become disordered again, and the magnetic properties of the neodymium magnet will disappear. In practical work, the maximum working temperature of neodymium magnets is much lower than its Curie temperature. As the temperature increases, the magnetic force of neodymium magnets decreases accordingly. When the temperature of the magnet returns to room temperature, most of the magnetic force loss can be restored. However, when the temperature rises to a certain level, the magnetic force of the magnet will undergo irreversible loss, which will also cause irreversible performance loss to the equipment using the magnet. If this happens, the magnet in the device will need to be replaced or the magnet remagnetized. Therefore, in order to ensure the normal operation of equipment, such as motors and generators, we need to keep neodymium magnets operating at their maximum operating temperature. Usually, the higher the Curie temperature of magnetic materials, the higher their working temperature and better temperature resistance. To deal with the demagnetization phenomenon of neodymium magnets under high temperatures, researchers have developed high temperature resistant magnets. Adding cobalt, terbium, dysprosium, and other elements to sintered neodymium magnets can improve their temperature resistance, allowing them to work normally up to 200 degrees Celsius. We can provide high temperature resistant neodymium magnets with a maximum temperature of over 200 degrees Celsius. If you are interested in our products, please feel free to contact us. See you next time.